Welcome to Teacher Mind. In this video, we're going to be solving a word problem involving the surface area of a cylinder. Let's begin. A company has a contract to paint the inside and outside of 50 barrels with a protective coating. It currently has six gallons of paint on hand. Does the company have enough supplies to complete the contract based on the information shown below? Here we have a barrel and the barrel is 34 inches in height, so this is the height H, and it has a diameter of 23 inches, and this of course means that the radius is half of that, which is 11.5 inches. Well, the surface area of any cylinder is PH plus 2B. Now P represents the perimeter of the base and the base is a circle so that means it's the circumference of the circle. So we have 2 pi R and of course we're going to be using pi as about 3.14. H is the height and then 2 times Capital B represents the area of the base, and since it's a circle, that's going to be pi r squared. If we substitute in the values that we know, we have 2 times 3.14 times 11.5 times 34 plus 2 times 3.14 times 11.5 squared. And we'll type in these values. 2 times 3.14 times 11.5 times 34 is 2,455.48. And 2 times 3.14 times 11.5 squared is 830.53 and if we add those together 2455.48 plus 830.53 we get 3286.01 well that's the surface area of the outside of this but they have to also paint the inside of the barrels so we can essentially just double this. So 3,286.01 times 2 gives us 6,572.02. But we have 50 barrels. So this amount times 50, 6,572.02, times 50 is going to give us 32,000, I'm sorry, 328,601 inches squared. Now, we have inches squared here, but one gallon of paint covers 400 feet squared. So we need to convert feet squared into inches squared. Well, it's not that difficult. If we know that one square foot is one foot by one foot, then we can also use the other variation of that. That's 12 inches by 12 inches. So then one square foot is equal to 144 square inches. So if we'll take 400 times 144 that equals 57,600 square inches in 400 square feet. So finally what we're going to do is we're going to take 328,601 and we're going to divide that by 57,600. Now 
Now the value that we get is approximately 5.7. Now this is 5.7 gallons of paint would be needed in order to paint the inside and the outside of 50 barrels of this size. So the question is, does the company have enough supplies? They have six gallons, they need 5.7 gallons. So the answer is a resounding yes. Well, this concludes the lesson, and I'd like to thank you for visiting TeacherMind. It's a great place to discover something valuable.